yeah to play in the world cup was yeah it was it was so exciting um yeah I was, I was a little bit nervous in the first game but after that it settled into a little bit and yeah it was so good obviously it didn't quite end how we wanted it to but it was such a great experience and yeah no South Africa was a cool place to visit uh, how, I've been to South Africa before on a England A tour, but we'd only been to Pretoria, and I was quite young, so we didn't couldn't do much. So this was my first time to Cape Town, which was like stunning. And um, yeah, Newlands was a cool ground, and especially when we played South Africa, obviously it was home crowd. So like, yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, I think I mean everyone was quite. We were pretty chilled, and like obviously we were we were fairly confident going into the game. I think we obviously were tracking in the right direction. We were going well as a team, and the group was in a good place, but. Obviously, that's what T Twenty cricket's like. Sometimes things don't go your way. Someone has a day out, and that's that's how it goes sometimes. But yeah, I think obviously after the game, everyone was everyone was very gutted, and um, yeah, it was it was just a bit disappointing, really. But South Africa, yeah, they had a they had a great crowd, and it's yeah, it's really good for them. Well, yeah, I think obviously we didn't get a chance to play against them, so like we can't compare where we're at compared to them from South Africa. And beating us in the semi-finals, like, I think, yeah, we like we're really excited to go at them in the Ashes, and like um, as a team, we're we're in a really good place. We're pushing in the right direction, so I think it. We're, everyone's quite excited. It's yeah, the closest we've been to uh, really challenging them, and I think yeah, it's a really good opportunity to show how far we've come as a team, and yeah, put them under some pressure. Yeah, so obviously the the auction was going on on that day, and I obviously knew that. Oh well, if I was going to get picked, it wasn't going to be till whilst the game was going on. So I wasn't too like fussed about the whole thing in the morning. Then we obviously gave our phones in, and then the focus was just on the game, and um, it didn't distract me or anything. Like that was that was the focus. And then after the game, I hadn't got my phone back yet, and Jonathan Finch, the director of um, was like, "Belly, have you heard the news yet?" And I was like, "No." what and then he was like you've been picked up in the WPL and I was so shocked like and then Louis was in the room at the same time and I was like for what team and he was like for Louis's team and then I was like oh can I give you a hug and yeah I know it was it was really good and I, yeah I was as I said I was I was really surprised but yeah no it's it, I was so excited no I, I honestly I had no idea like and he he obviously he was at the island game he wasn't on the panel he wasn't at the auction so he obviously gave who he liked but like auctions can go one of two ways and they are a little bit random so um yeah but yeah no it's I'm really lucky to have ended up where I am yeah it's so exciting I think even now like the build-up to it like I knew before I came here that it was going to be massive and it was going to be crazy but it's just exceeded all my expectations it's been yeah it's it's crazy and it's amazing how many fans there are around and how exciting everything is and all the media and everything that goes with it, I think it's only going to put women's cricket more on the map and, yeah, show it to even more people. So, yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah, well, this is my first time to India, so even that is eye-opening. I think it's an amazing country, but, yeah, it's it's chaotic and it's crazy. But, um, yeah, I've loved it so, so far. All the all the Indian girls and the mother domestic players have been so, so welcoming and everyone's so nice and, yeah, so fun to um, be around. So, yeah, it's been really good. And the um the other overseas, the Aussies and um Shabs joined up yesterday and today. So it's been nice to get getting to know them. Um yeah, everyone's just been so welcoming. It's been so fun. Yeah, we've got a really exciting team. Obviously, we've got some some real big names in our overseas with um Alice Healy as captain and obviously Soph, I played a lot with her and I played with T Mac in the hundred and she's obviously very talented as well but we've also got some great domestic players and some some young some young Indians who played in the under 19s World Cup but yeah they're really talented and yeah we've got a, a very exciting team for sure uh I haven't spoken to Lottie directly about it um but I think I have no idea how they're gonna go I think every team has big names every team has um yeah a superstar and I think you can't re I can't predict how it's gonna go and what team's gonna be good what team it's good. like yeah so I like Mumbai Indians obviously are a very a massive franchise and yeah they've got some quality players and obviously I know that lots of quality coach so I'm sure they'll be very strong but I think it'll be pretty even across the board and yeah it'll be exciting to see how how everyone goes well no we did we did have the same hairstyle for the World Cup we had two plaits into a ponytail but Freya Davies was our um our hairstylist she would always do them for us and she's obviously not out here with us so we're not going to be able to do it for each other so no I unless we can find someone else someone else in this team that can do French plats it's um yeah it's unfortunately not going to be a thing but hopefully when we get back to England and 
um, in the Ashes, it will be, it'll be a thing again when Freya's back with us.